I know that uh, you're working on a story about Adrian Peterson, uh, the Redskins running back. He made over $100 million in his career, but I guess he is broke, bankrupt. How did he lose his money? I think some of it is stupidity. You know, obviously, you know, I was told he spent millions of dollars on his 30th birthday party. Um, you know, there was an ESPN story uh, about the, uh, the account of that where he had camels and lemurs and uh, flew everyone in first class. And, you know, it's, it's it, his lawyer is telling a story of, you know, more like, you know, bad apples and people that he tended to trust and whatever. But, you know, some of it's got to be on him, too. He, he spent money frivolously. Um, you know, and I, I don't I, I hate to make this about the NFLPA, but, um, you know, they have this financial advisors program, Dan, which basically allows people who are in who are financial advisors. If they're, you know, seven years in the field or so, they can take a test and become an NFL certified financial advisor through the union. And the problem is that although they don't tell the guys to go to these guys, they, you know, parents and, and the kids, you know, the, the athletes say, are you certified? And, you know, sometimes people who are certified who happen to take the test are a lot less reputable than a Morgan Stanley guy who doesn't feel like taking the test but manages 700 to a, hundred, 700 to a billion dollars in, in people's money. So it it kind of creates this false sense of security. I don't think they should be doing that type of program. Um, And, you know, so I think that there's the negative there, too. But, yeah, this is just. But we don't we don't know, Darren, if Adrian Peterson used these people you're talking about. Do we? No, we, 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 we do know that. So so in when I was. Still, uh, when I was at ESPN, I looked at his charity and, you know, had found that the main benefactor of his charity for a period of four years was the treasurer of his charity. Um, so there's been things over time that have been, you know, really, really bad decisions. Um, and there's been a lawsuit or two over people that have had, uh, you know, advised him. But how much is his fault and how much is their fault? I'm sure that's going to come out. What we know now, how we know he's broke, is that he uh, was lent $5.2 million by someone, and he's paid zero of it. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV. Stream for free on BR Live or download the Dan Patrick Show app.